All right, what's good, what's good? Man, another day, man. Just turn on my DoorDash. Trying to get some orders and shit. Hold up, let me see. Uh, yep. Shit crazy. It been slow motion today like a motherfucker, man. Just been chilling, like... Fucking around at the house with the family, you know what I mean? And like, I ain't even really got it's it's shit that I've been wanting to get done today. But it's like, like I ain't gonna lie, like my son, he that, that dude is a handful, man. That dude is a handful, man. Like, like he had you ready to whoop his little ass, like, like. Genuinely, you feeling like hurting that little nigga, man. Like, <laughs> and he only won. So that, like, that dude is something else. But I love you. But that dude that had you finding a reason to get the fuck out the house. Like, hey, I gotta go. I gotta door dash. <laughs> you feel me? Like, I don't know. He going through a phase. He about he almost two years old. He not talking yet. He running around. He, he he hella hyper. Like he hella hyper. And he he trying to express himself. He you know what I'm saying? It's hard. He get frustrated because he can't talk yet. So I, I see what he, you know. And then I got my little baby, my daughter, she's five months. So she gets she needs a lot of attention. And, you know, he probably be feeling a way about that, too. I don't know. But, man, this dude acting out, man. I'm about to fuck around and try to take some classes or something. Some child development classes or something to help me with this. Because that dude is hyper as fuck. And I need to take some something before I fuck around and hurt that little dude, man. <laughs> Shit. Got me going, going insane in the mind and shit, man. What the fuck? Make your ass pay rent when your ass 13, nigga, for this shit. Get your ass. But yeah, man. That's what I've been doing today, just, you know, fucking with the fam. But, uh, hey, but on, on some real shit. All this shit, man, it's, I see, I see it, man. I see why people be the way they are, living the way they are. Like, the family, I had you living a certain way, doing this shit. Family, work. I never lived like this coming up. You feel me? I didn't, I didn't have, I didn't live the, 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 the. American way type shit. Like, you know, like I lived the fuck type shit is this, man? Weird ass fucking curb. I lived damn. But I lived uh you know, I was in the streets and shit, man. I was moving around and shit. I wasn't at the house with the family or doing that type of lifestyle. Like, I was moving around. So, it's like, now that I'm sitting still and I'm, you know, I'm not in the streets hustling or nothing like that, it's a different life. Like, I don't really care as much how I be looking. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, cutting on the camera like this, I'm like this. This the same shirt from yesterday. Like, that's crazy. But it's like, I'm in the house. I don't know. Like, I ain't even had time to do shit for myself today. That's how, that's how. And that'll give you a sense of how my son is. Because it's like, he got me, like, tied up type shit. I'm busy. You know? And doing other shit, too. But it's like, man. It made me think, like, wow. And when, look, when I stepped out the house... Cause I stay in an apartment. It was it was some chick that pulled up. You feel me? Looking like something. You feel me? And uh, shit. She 
she was on me though. You feel me? And I'm looking like looking crazy, like you feel me? But it's like you forget that you that dude after so long. I'm like damn, okay, I, I am that dude though. Like shit, what the fuck? And she was on me, looking me up and down. Like I'm thinking, like she like this nigga look crazy, but like she, the way she looked when I looked at her, like you feel me? She's like checking on the aisle type shit. I probably had action type shit. Pursue it or nothing, but you know, it's like okay, oh yeah, I am that dude, oh yeah, like that type of shit. So it's like, damn, it made me feel like, oh shit, I gotta start tightening up, man. I gotta get back, feel me, fresh and slide through wet. Like I used to, you know, I'm in the bucket. You know, I might have it, it might be a time I might have a damn. Laundry all in the back. I ain't got no dryer and washer at the house. Like, it just be shit where I'm looking grimy out in this bitch. And it's like, I don't even be thinking, like, oh shit, people perceiving me a certain way and judging me. Like, he's a bum or <laughs> I don't know. I don't even be tripping. I'm doing my thing. Like, but I forgot about, like, oh shit, he's a, like, oh, that dude's a bum or you know what I mean? Look, like, it's people that's on that still. Like, judging you off how you, you know, everybody judge. Like, oh, he's a bum. <laughs> but really, I'm just getting to the bread. I ain't even really, you know, I can go, I, uh, nah, let me, I can't even go dress up right now. Like, when I moved, I got, I don't know, all, all my, that's crazy. Look, wifey threw away all my fucking, like, my shit that I would consider my nice fits, that shit got threw the fuck away, it was a big ass bag full of my shit, I bagged my shit up, like, you feel me, because when we was moving, I just threw my shit in the back seat of the whip, and, uh, I just bagged my shit up, it was all, you know, it was folded and shit, it was bagged up, like, you feel me, and hella bags, wifey threw hella shit away, I remember she was cleaning, and I don't. She grabbed. She must have grabbed one of my bags, well, not one, the one, and put that. And that was with the trash, cause I didn't. I don't got none of my fucking fits, bro. How you? How? How about that? Like, what if all your fits was gone? You feel me? That's what I went through. This was like almost two years ago, but like, I still ain't got hella fits. <laughs> I don't even be buying fits no more. I be buying just t-shirts, white tee, black tee. They get old, I don't wear them no more, or I wear them to bed type shit. Like, I don't even be buying fits no more. You feel me? Uh, because honestly, I be spending my money on different shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, either some business shit, investment shit, or I like gadgets, like this camera I'm using right here. This camera was like $300, 300 something. It's a cool little camera. Uh, I just be buying shit like that. And I really don't even be buying really shit no more these days lately. Like I just be sticking to the script, man. Paying my bills, paying my rent, doing that. Put away a little something, taking care of shit. My car might need repair or something. I'm doing that. Like, I don't even be buying nothing. That's crazy. Like, why am I not treating myself? Subconsciously, I feel like I don't even deserve nothing right now. Based on, I'm not performing at my best. In my mind, somebody else might look at it as like, oh, you handling your business, you know? In my mind, it's like, man, you need to do something major. Like, you know, I always compare to how I used to be living. Not saying I was rich or nothing, but like I was getting bread. You know, I was always traveling, moving around and shit like that. You know, living a fast life. And I, I, it's taken me hella long to adjust to the slow life. Like, you know, like... I don't know. It's crazy. And I, I've become more secluded, more anti-social, just more to myself.
yourself. And I think it's like the more that you know, like I think I said this in one of my videos too, like I know a lot of shit more now than I used to know. So it's kind of affected how I move. Cause it's like, I used to be hella oblivious to shit, man. You know, like to the, to the fact, like, one, one example is, like, I go eat McDonald's, not giving a fuck. Not even thinking about, this ain't even real meat, or whatever the fuck. That type of shit, like, you feel me? I didn't give a fuck about nothing. I didn't think about none of those shit. Just only how I grew up type shit. Hustling, being that dude, coming through in the fly whips, clothes, the, 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 you know, the, the women, rapping, uh... You know, getting to the bag, all that. Hanging out in the hood, hanging out with my with the homies, all that shit. I just saw what I thought about. And if you wasn't doing that, you a sucker. You ain't on nothing. That's how I grew up and felt. You a square type shit. <laughs> but it's like, tuh, at the end of the day, they got I, I got played. Because at the end of the day, when you think about it, none of that shit really, really matter at the end of the day. Because, you know, you, you got niggas, you got, you got people who get locked up. Ain't nobody, homies ain't around, nobody around. You got people who get killed out here. Family members is not getting helped out or nothing by the homies or nobody. So it's like the, the, the street shit is... It's not, uh, ain't no retirement plan in the streets. You're going to be old and, 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 and on drugs or some shit fucking around. Or old and alone, broke down, walking the streets. Or in jail because you didn't know how to stop hustling and do something else. Something, right? So I grew up, I got played by the system. That's how the system indoctrinated us is to be like that. You know what I mean? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, but that's what I was. That's what I. So I was oblivious a lot, and, and and but now I'm so aware of stuff that it just made me not have the want to do certain shit no more. Clothes, I make my own clothes. I made this shirt, like fucking around, on some bullshit. Like, you know what I mean? Calling myself making a clothing line, but I scrapped it like that. I got a new one coming, though. Uh, like, you know what I mean? Like, I make my own clothes, or I cut my own hair, or I don't really care right now. I don't know. It's just like that, man. Maybe, I don't know, man. But I, I, I'll be... To the, I'll be hanging out by myself a lot too so maybe that got something to do with it don't call me to go out especially in no fucking club don't call me for none of that shit you feel me cause I'm to the face <clears throat> but yeah man what's going on with y'all man I'm about to like I don't even know if this video even making sense or if it's even interesting enough or whatever the fuck but all I know is I gotta get uh, I gotta get back to a, a, a balance. You know what I mean? Like I be I just be feeling like not up for a lot of shit, or even getting dressed is a hassle for me. That's why I see why billionaire people, super rich motherfuckers, they wear the same shit every day. They don't give a fuck little t-shirt you look like uh what's that dude name who made facebook mark or something he don't even dress up he wear blank clothes he just wear whatever he don't wear no expensive shit like that's what i'm saying like what for you got millionaire billionaire people who don't even do give a fuck about how they dressing they just care about getting to the, the thing that they love doing they not trying to impress nobody with their clothes. Like, what the fuck is that? If you, unless you, you know, you in some type of event where you gotta wear some fly shit, but it's like, 
I see people trying to, they dressing up every day. Like, wow, bro. How many, how many Jordans you got, bro? Or how many, like, you feel me? Like, damn. How much designer do you have? Like, whoa. You, you, you making them rich, ain't you? Jordan got enough money. You, you, you making sure Jordan great, great, great grandkids eat, ain't you? What about yours? You, you, you know what I'm saying? But that's it, man. I'm going to check out of this. Uh, I'm going to check out. I'm going to end this video, man. Got a little suspicious looking ass motherfuckers riding around. I'm about to get up out of here, man. I'm going to holler at y'all in a minute.